Saturday's warm up is going to be one minute of rowing. We're rowing for calories today. So let's try to get a little more power out of each stroke. Then one minute in a down dog stretch. Hands slightly wider than the shoulders. Hips are pushed up, head and chest down, heels down. Another 45 seconds rowing followed by a up dog stretch. So if you stay in that push up position, lower the hips to the ground and arch up. Then 30 seconds of rowing, followed by 30 seconds of Samson stretch. Fingers overhead, long lunge forward, optional lean over the lunging leg. Another 30 seconds of rowing, followed by 30 seconds of air squats. Each round on the rower, let's try to increase our pace and intensity so we're ready for the uh, workout later. Then we'll go into our mobility. Start with one minute in a couch stretch. You can do this on the wall or on a box. So we'll demonstrate with a box since we have that close by. Uh, put the foot up on top of the box or against the side of the box and then go into your deep lunge. One minute per side in the couch stretch, then one minute in a pigeon pose. We can demo this on the floor this time. So start in a push-up position. Your lower leg goes horizontally sideways between your hands. And then you're leaning forward. Hang out for a minute in the pigeon pose. Who's texting? Finally, we'll finish with a two minute uh, supine or laying on your back wall overhead squat stretch. So scoot your hips as close to the wall as you can. Then put your feet at squat distance. So about shoulder width and then hands overhead. Just relax here. If you're really flexible, you might not feel anything according to Rebecca. Sunday's class workout is gonna start with building to a heavy sled push. We're gonna say there and back is one rep. So it's up to you if you wanna keep your arms straight on the sled push, or if you wanna bend your arms and lean forward over that sled. As the weights get heavier, it's gonna become more and more important to um, keep the hands low. So Rebecca's pretty high up on those handles right now, but once you have a little more weight on the sled, getting down low will be helpful. Notice her upper body is straight. There's no rounding of the back. Rebecca, can you show us one where your arms are bent on the handles? So last option is gonna be keeping the arms bent, shoulders in front. Test these out, whatever feels better for you and helps you move a heavier load, counts. Sunday's class workout is gonna be a 20 minute EMOM. First minute you're doing rowing for calories. Second minute you're doing ab mat sit-ups. Lay down until the shoulders touch the ground behind the ab mat. Sit up all the way until the shoulders are stacked above the hips. Feet position is up to you. You can go butterfly. You can go knees bent and feet flat on the floor. You can go feet straight out in front of you, whatever is comfortable. Your score is the lowest number of rowing calories in one round plus the lowest number of sit-up reps in one round. So consistency is important today. The home gym variation is going to be the same 20-minute EMOM except instead of rowing, you're doing one minute of burpees. Chest to floor, jump and clap overhead, paired with sit-ups. So same idea, your score is the lowest number of burpees you complete in a round, plus the lowest number of sit-ups you complete in a round.